This is me walking into college and going to my room for the first time. Evidently, I was carrying too much stuff and it was very difficult to hold the camera. So it was really shaky and all that. So that was the front quad and now I'm walking to the back quad where all the cars are parked and this is where my staircase is. I mean here. Unfortunately, there are no elevators, there are only stairs, so I have to climb all the way. The struggle is real, but the excitement is real as well. By this point, I feel like collapsing, but I have to carry my luggage and my bag up a few flights of stairs. It's a never ending walk, basically. This is my corridor. My room is actually the first room, so I didn't need to have walked so far. I just wanted to see the whole corridor. Get ready guys, it's coming. Okay, it's a kind of small-ish room, but I kind of like it. It looks exactly like the one they put in the Freshers booklet. And I love the windows. Creepy, which means that it's old, but yes, it's quite interesting as well. They've given me cleaning materials, so now I'm going to unpack my suitcase. My luggage is only 24 kg, which is a miracle because of the amount of stuff I had to bring, but I had. I had an additional bag with me, like this huge thing that I had to carry all the way. Let's go! I decided to start by putting on some bed sheets because I didn't know what else to start with. But I kind of got distracted taking out other stuff like my stationery, my decorative materials, and a power strip. And I just went to test the desk lamp as well. I realized I did it the wrong way because I was dumb. So I restarted. And it took me quite a long time. It's kind of interesting how I'm not usually the one to do this for myself at home, but now I have to do everything on my own. 
and I realized that the duvet cover doesn't fit as well because it's too big for a single duvet. Now onto the wardrobe. Just gonna get out my clothes and hangers and just sort things out. Those are my court shoes. These are some of the only new clothes that I got, which are long pants that I can wear in winter to exercise. And here are my masks, which is a necessity at this time. And those are disposable masks. I prefer the reusable ones, but my parents made me bring more just in case. These are my shoes. The only interesting thing I think is this. It's basically a multifunctional cooker and I got it because it was on discount. It was rather cheap. And it will help me do some cooking in my own room. So I'm just going to show you what's inside. So there is a, there is a thing on top that can steam stuff. Um, and then there is a little container that I believe you can use to, like you can use to put stuff inside and you can cook it. And then there is a stand for you to um, hold the container or anything. That you're cooking, and this is the bait. Uh, no, this is the pot itself. So there are a few settings, but actually it's just heating. So whichever way you turn, it'll just heat more. And um, it's a relatively small size pot, but it's a good size for one person to eat. And then this is the base. So it's actually called a multifunctional kettle, which means that it can also boil water. Here I'm just cleaning all the surfaces and drawers. I like how there's so much storage space, although the room looks kind of small at first, but actually it's quite big and there's a lot of space for me to keep my stuff. Most of the stuff that I brought other than clothes are stationary because our seniors told us that in the UK stationery is more expensive, so I decided to bring more of my own. So I also have some gifts from friends, including masks and cards. And these are some photographs that my friend printed for me to decorate my room. These are studio ear pods that my sister gave to me as a gift. And I was really touched. I don't actually use wireless ear pods a lot, but I think I will just try. I'm sorting through all my stuff and trying to keep them into drawers to keep things organized. I brought quite a number of files and notebooks. And journals. And calculators. My camera and laptop. And that's about it really. <laughs> 